coaster the following directed graph having dated ages. Here we have some nodes, between them we have some ages, and on the ages there are some weights. A represents the graph using adjacency matrix notation. B represents the graph using adjacency list notation. C starting with node 1, traverse the graph using depth first traversal algorithm. D starting with node 1, traverse the graph using breadth first traversal algorithm. Let's start with part A. In part A, we are going to use an adjacency matrix notation. Since in the graph we have six nodes, we will have a matrix for the adjacency. This is for part A. We will have six rows and six columns in the matrix. So we have six columns and six rows. These columns are numbered from one up to six, and the rows are numbered also from one up to six. And for each entry, we would write zero if there is no edge between a node from the node written here to the one written as column. For example, consider node one, we will write here for node one, we will write the edges going out from the node one. And for each one, we are going to write the weight. If it is zero, in fact, it means that there is no connection. And uh, here we are considering only the edges going from out of the node. And from the node one, there is a connection to node 2, having value 2, and also we have a connection from 1 to 6, having weight 3. And all the other values are 0 because there is no connection. And if we consider node 2, we are considering now this node, for this one, uh, there is an age from 2 to 3, having value Five, and also 2 to 4 having value 3 and all the others are 0. For node 3, there is a connection going out from 3 to 1 having value 4 and there is also a connection from 3 to 4, 3 to 4 which has value 2 and 3 to 5 having value, having weight 6 and all the others are zero. And from node four, there is only connection to five, having value one, all the others are zero. For the node five, there is no connection going out of node five, so all the values here are zero. And for the last node six, there is a connection from six to three, having connection with one, and all the others are zero. So this is the adjacency matrix. And now let's consider the adjacency list notation. First, we have an array having six entries, and each one is a header to a linked list. This is the entry in the array corresponding to node one. And here we have a pointer it will point to a node, and this node is the node 2. This is the node 2, having value, weight value also 2, and it is connected to another entry. Consider the graph and notice that there are two edges going out of the node 1, when it's going to node 2. In the linked list here, we have the node value and the weight value, and then we have link. The node is two from one, from the node one, we have a connection to node two, whose weight is two. And also we have a connection to node six, 
for which the connection weight is 3. And we have only two connections to other nodes. So this is the end of the link list. Then let's consider the second node. From this one, we have connections to node 3. And we have connection to node 4. For the node 3, the connection weight is 5. And for the node 4, the connection weight is 3. And there is no more node because of that. The link field is new. For the node 3, we have three outgoing connections. So we will have here three nodes. We have connection from 3 to 1 first. And then we have connection from 3 to 4. We have node 4. And also we have a connection from 3 to node 5. The connection rates are, for this connection, the value is 4. And for the connection from 3 to 4, the weight is 2. And for the connection from 3 to 5, the connection weight is 6. And we have nil at this field. For the node 4, we have a single connection to node 5. And this connection has weight 1. That's all. For the node 5, there is no connection going out from this node. Because of that, we will have a new value as header. And for the last node, there is a connection from 6 to node 3. And the connection weight has value 1. And that's all. So this is the representation of the graph using adjacency list notation. If we consider the part A, because this is a directed graph, notice that. The array is not symmetric, and also all the diagonal entries here are zero because there is no self connection. For part C, let's start from node one, and from that node, we will traverse the tree in depth first. We are starting with node one, and we are marking this one as visited. From the node 1, we are going to node 2. This is the first node that we have connection. And from node 2, we can go to node 3. And from node 3, we can go to node 4. We are not going back to node 1 because we have visited that one. Also, the node 2 and 3 are visited. And then we are visiting node 4. And from node 4, we can go, can go to node 5. And from node 5, there is no other node that we can visit. So we are turning back to node 4. Because also the node 5 is visited, there is no other node to be visited. We are going back. And from node 3, we are going back to node 2, we are backtracing, and we are going back to node 1. And then in the node 1, there is a node which is not visited, which is the node 6. From 6, there is no other node. All the nodes are visited. Because of that, we are returning back to node 1. So if you consider the traversal order, first one is traversed, then comes two, three, four, five, and then six. If you consider bread first traversal, we are starting with node one. We are marking it as listed. And in fact, this is inserted to Q and deleted back. And we inserted to add six into the Q because they are the nodes that can be visited directly from node 1. So after node 1, we will visit 2, 
and 6. You cannot write here 3 because there is no connection from 1 to 3. Here we are writing the nodes that can be visited at one step from the node 1. Then from node 2, we can visit node 3 and node 4 in one step. So this is also finished. Then we are considering the node 6. From node 6, there is no other node that we can visit. Now we are considering node 3. At node 3, we can go to node 4, but we are not considering that one because it is visited. Then we are going to node 5. Also for node 5, because all the nodes are visited, there is nothing to insert into the queue. So all the elements are finished. This is the output of the bread first traversal.